Hello, this is uh, Ruin and Wiesen. Uh, I'm Wiesen. I'm going to show you a um, new firmware for the MIDI command. So this is my first MIDI command for the type I've done. This is my machine drum and this is a MIDI keyboard. So I have a pretty standard kit loaded on the machine drum with some EFM hi-hats with a feedback turned down, a chord sample, a bass sample and some snare drums. And I'm going to show you how the MIDI command will enable you to play the machine drum from a keyboard. So the first thing we have to do is load the current kit on the on the MIDI command, which is easily done by pressing this button. And we can then configure a MIDI channel just by pressing the appropriate button. So for example, I want to configure MIDI channel 11. So I just press 11 here. I will show you the configuration mode for channel 11. And this shows you it's configured as a polyphonic track sending all the notes on the MIDI channel to the first four tracks on the machine drum which have EFM hi-hat sounds. So I'm turning it on again and now I can actually play the hi-hats on the keyboard. Um, if I just configure the correct channel as well, sorry. So I'm on channel 11 and I can play the EFM hi-hats so I'm gonna show you put the camcorder down and show you a few features of what you can do with that new firmware. So I'm a pretty crappy keyboard player so excuse my playing. I can play individual notes. I will send them to the four different tracks here. But I can also play chords. And one thing you would like to do is when you actually tweak the track on the machine drum, it will only change that um, one track. So if you have a polyphonic mode, that will sound pretty weird. But what the MIDI command actually does is it recognizes which knobs you tweak and will replicate the parameter changes to all the voices on one MIDI channel. So for example, if I play a chord here with a long decay and actually turn the feedback up, it will turn the feedback on every voice so so I can send the whole voice into the delay for example into the reverb and twist the filter for example So that's some pretty cool stuff you can do and play the machine drum as a polyphonic synthesizer. Um, you can do stuff like turning a tremolo up. And you can actually recognize it, recognize the velocity as well. And another pretty interesting feature of that firmware is um, that was the polyphonic mode. You can have simple monophonic mode, with, um, that's the standard way. It just recognizes the mel melodic machines on the machine drum. So, for example, GRX um, bass drum and the ground wave, ground sound wave, and chords. Um, sorry, ROM machines, of course, and EFM machines have a lot of uh, uh, melodic possibilities. But what you can also do is, for example, going to channel 10, which was the first channel I had on, is uh, it's in multi-mode, so it actually layers four voices at once. Uh, actually, the, I think the last voice is not a melodic machine, so uh, I'm going to send all the notes I'm playing monophonically on channel 10 to those three tracks on the machine drum, which allows me to layer, um, to layer notes which is pretty cool. So this is multi-trig mode on the machine drum and in this mode I can actually tweak every, every track on the, on the machine drum 
in its own way. So you can recognize that this what I'm playing here is actually triggering this voice, this voice, and this voice. So I can, for example, uh, just um, turn up the filter on the chord. And I have to admit, uh, I haven't done much research on the possibilities that are available by just layering uh, different sounds on a machine drum because I'm, I'm not really that much of a synth programmer, but the possibilities are pretty amazing actually. And for example, to show you how much possibilities this firmware offers, I'm going to show you actually how the EFM snare drum can sound, which is this sound here. And you can actually play it as a, as a very nice road kind of sound by just, uh, I'm going to select channel 9. And play the EFM snare drum on the, on the machine drum using four voices here on the keyboard. And for example, turning on the LFO on the volume. Makes some very kind of nice sounds. And of course, what I'm what I'm showing you is that I'm actually sending on on MIDI channel nine, and MIDI channel ten is that sound, and MIDI channel eleven is that one, and you can actually play them all at the same time or using a sequencer to sequence the machine drum with notes. And another thing you can do is actually map velocity to filter and to different parameters on each voice, so you can you can play the machine drum very dynamically, just not like controlling one voice. But it's pretty incredible, it really makes the machine drum a whole new instrument. And even if each sound is kind of limited in the range it, it allows, for example, um, the snare drum, the FM snare drum doesn't go very high, and it stops at F. That's the last note it can do, but it's it still allows for a very wide range of ambiences and using the effects, for example. So that's the new firmware for the MIDI command and in a few days I'll put a Java version of that firmware online so you can try it out on your PCs. Um, it'll have, it won't have that much features but it's going to be pretty close to the real thing. Thank you.